I had to come back to this previous one that I did this morning at 6.40 a.m. by 5.2017. <clears throat> Good morning, too. About the outdoor stuff, they said couldn't be allowed to be... I mean, indoor stuff they didn't allow outdoors. So, Delia, I, I'm swearing to God, if you had brains, you'd be dangerous. Didn't your mamas teach you anything at all? I mean, seriously. Right over here is another video pointing a finger at Sedalia, Missouri, 65301. How they allowed a kid to get her daddy thrown in prison for 25 years after she raped herself via self-implementation with an Avon bottle shaped like a poodle. That's how no-brainer you are. Get it? I'm still a taxpayer in Sedalia on two properties, whether I live there or not. And your ignorance is astounding. But I don't want to get on the get on a rag about that now. About this furniture that was by my mom's door for years. Years. No one said one tiny thing about it. Not one thing. Mom, as um, a longtime president of the Ladies Auxiliary, because I got to thinking about this when I start putting my little puzzle together. Ladies Auxiliary of the Post Office with our fundraisers and charitable causes DFS Division of Family Services was one of the people that auxiliary donated to I have pictures in my Facebook um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find them right this minute or not if not I'll include a link um, of mom giving them and when they took the picture she's holding up one of those big checks you know for photographic purposes well I was an auxiliary member too the same time my mom was the president and I helped with those charities sometimes when they did the bake sales on Saturdays rain or shine that group would be out there with their bake sale goods to raise money for the food pantries and whatever else well guess who wasn't out there rain or shine bright and early on a Saturday morning Denise Denise Woolery. I'm calling these people out because I was told you got to call your demons out by name. And that's what I'm doing. Denise Woolery, who now lives over there in Hughesville. You and Tom Mefford, both connected to my dad through Denise's husband at the time Sam and Tom Mefford's dad who both worked at the post office neither one of those people were out there helping anybody whether it was food drive or selling raffle tickets for the quilt or the quilts they made all of us ladies got little quilt bo quilt blocks to embroidery and then we turned them in and mom took them to get them quilted put together and quilted they quilt topped them 
it cost, I don't know, 80 or 100 dollars to get it fancy stitched on the top. <coughs> so here comes Denise prancing into my house. Like she just thought she was the world on fire. Your house is dirty. I don't know how many she drank that day before she got to my house. She probably had a bottle stuck out there under her car seat. Wouldn't surprise me any. They got so pointed toward me. Well, now it's my turn to get pointed back. How about that? Your house is dirty. I got so sick of that. I had to go around with her a number of times. One day I said, you know, I have a good notion to turn you in. Well, that didn't do any good either. That old Jim Simmons out there, he was all that hot dog on a stick himself, wasn't he? My girls would do me Thing like that what a bunch of bull so anyway mom had to get on the phone with Denise set Denise down a couple pegs now Denise you know I'm over there a lot helping that girl with her house I didn't want her to get it it was such a tragic mess to begin with but she wanted it so her and John got it and you know they don't hardly have anything over there and it's not dirty I help her clean it myself let's go see yours can we do that, Denise? Can we stop by your house and see what's up there? Are your children living in some sort of rancid, messed up, junky house? Because why did that one turn into a cocaine dealer? And it must be an entire family affair with you people because your sister also wrapped up in that somehow because you mentioned a cousin the paper mentioned a cousin the articles I read on the internet mentioned that your son and his cousin both busted for cocaine dealing but you're, you've got some kind of audacity to stand there and tell me that my life is not even worth living? That it's got problems they need fixed by you? I want to see you in prison, that's what. Well, I've got immunity. Don't nobody say nothing about my family. They're going to regret it. Well, obviously, Denise, you need to get an education. That's what. You and that big-headed Maria Middlehauser, too. Both of you got balls where you're supposed to have brains. Ignorant, so stupid. Both of you had a hold of care of John's daughter. Took her from the school ground, didn't contact anyone, took her clear to Marshall, got her examined, interrogated or interviewed her. She related some sort of harebrained story about what was going on at our house. After John, the heart attack patient, diagnosed at 
two hospitals, one Bothwell, and two the Harry S. Truman Medical Center in Columbia. On his medicine, getting her therapy, and his inhaler. How many supposed rapists get their child therapy? Meanwhile, back at the non-rape moments, we'll just get you some therapy and we'll go sit in the van and drink our coffee and read the newspaper. But you let her go back into that house after she made her report. It's what bites my ass. If it was a damn crime scene when you took her off the school grounds, then what made it a non-crime scene when you put her back on the bus and sent her home? To the math. She waltzes in the front door like any other day. I've got homework, but i got to talk to Dad. Our little old neighbor lady was over there when she came home, too. She was just fixing to leave. Just fixing to leave. And here she came, bounding in the door. No crazy rapist at that point. Because I got to talk to him in private out in the hallway. Daddy dear. Why isn't that person making reports when we're shopping for nearly four hours up at Whiteman? When she has three working telephones in the house her brother there nearly half the time that she was the first year or so taken off up to Iowa to go visit her mommy at the commune the brainwashing commune not talking it there in fact at one point wrote a letter home. Hi, Dad. I miss you and Veronica. I'm learning Spanish. Even before that divorce decree modification occurred, she was only in Sedalia on a trial basis. They were to discuss it at the end of that summer. Toward the end of that summer. While she was up there with her mom again. Whether they were going to make it permanent or not. And all I can see Denise and Maria do is pick their nose and go to parties and wine tours. So yeah, you're both failures. When I called the police on John's daughter, they were over there pretty quick. Within five minutes, I'd say. Why wasn't she then talking about some 2100 time crazy rapist? Anybody want to take a guess? I will tell you why. Because there wasn't a 2100 time rapist to talk about. Whether it was time 1 or 88 or 970. There was not one to talk about. And you knew that. You knew that and you stuck her back on the bus and sent her home. What kind of crap is that if there's a crazy rapist in the house where he always was in the van in the driveway? And I didn't even drive. 